About 13 years ago, I knew a man who would sit down in his room the whole day and watch a movie for as long as 24 hours. They called it season films in my country, and these people can spend an entire week on a season film. I can't get my head to understand how any human can do such a thing. But as I grew up, I got used to seeing things I couldn't understand why people do. So I concluded that maybe it's because of my profession as an entrepreneur that I tend to find some things that other people do to be extremely ridiculous. In this video, I will be sharing with you three things I don't do as an entrepreneur. If you're new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. 1. I don't complain about the economy. A few weeks ago, I got to know that some groups in my country were protesting because the government increased the gas price. We called it petrol in Nigeria. The funny thing is that I really don't know how much gas costs even though I drive my car to gas stations and pay to fill my tank. Okay, what is evident in the story above is that I have enough money to take care of most things I need, so I don't care and won't complain if their prices go up. But that's just half of the story. The other half is that for more than 17 years, I've learned how not to complain about the economy. I made myself believe that if I complain, that I can't create and don't create. I can't be rich, so I sacrifice complaints for creating. I wake up every morning thinking about creating something that will make me more money. And because I get busy doing this, often I don't even know the state of the economy in my country. Now, let's talk about you. You see, your brain works like your eyes. Just as your eyes can't really concentrate fully on two objects at a time, your mind can't handle two opposing thoughts simultaneously. For example, you can't hate someone and like them at the same time. You can't be happy and sad at the same second. So it is that you can't complain and be creative at the same time. This is not to say that you shouldn't criticize or protest against the bad government in your country. It simply means that if that becomes your daily habit, you can't have a vacant space in your mind to create solutions to your personal money problems. Two. I don't consume social media. Just this morning, someone dropped a comment on one of the videos on my personal channel. He liked my content and would like to connect with me on Facebook or WhatsApp. Well, I deleted my Facebook profile in 2017 and when I needed Facebook to market some products of my company, I created another profile. But guess what? The new Facebook profile I created has only two friends and I had unfollowed one. WhatsApp. Well, if you're not an employee, my wife or my sibling, You'll need to be my close friend to get you to my WhatsApp. Instagram? No, I can't stand it. In recent time, I'm considering Twitter, but again, I'm afraid. But why am I afraid of social media? Well, the answer to that is, it's too interesting and addictive. An average Facebook user, according to some studies, logs into Facebook seven times every day. An average Instagram user logs in about six times every day. And an average Twitter user logs in about five times each day. If you're Donald Trump, well, you'll log into Twitter 100 times each day. And that's the problem. I'm not criticizing social media here. Just like anything, social media is a tool. It can be used for good and it can hurt you. Think about television. TV is good for education and entertainment and we as humans need those two things. But I know people who wake up at 5 a.m. and sit down in front of the TV. How crazy is that? Why would anyone wake up to consume what other people created? Why don't you wake up? to create. Now I know what the comment section of this video would look like. Someone would write, you hate social media and you have a million subscribers on YouTube. Well, you've missed my point when you think YouTube is merely a social media platform. For me, YouTube is the best thing created in the 21st century. Today, if you want to learn just anything, there's someone right here on YouTube who will teach you for free. If you're someone like me who is passionate about a subject, then you have got a business. You can teach what you're passionate about and end up making thousands of dollars every month doing so. For me, YouTube is more than a mere social media platform. But that doesn't mean that any one of us can't abuse YouTube. But you get my point. Yes, you need entertainment and you need to know what is going on in the world. But when entertainment becomes work for you, then something is wrong. When people wake up in the morning to consume social media, that is a big signal that they need a life. When an individual has five social media profiles even though he's not using that to make money, that's a big signal that such a person needs a life. Let's think about time. That's the only true asset any one of us has. Do you need money? Learn how to invest your time properly. Do you need a better relationship? Think about time. Do you need health and a sound mind? It's still about investing your time into the right thing. That's why you have to guard against anything addictive 
because it will lead you to giving your time to dogs. 3. I don't save money Some time ago, I listened to a guy called Dave Ramsey saying that he saved up $500,000. While such individuals are far better than most people in the world who simply spend all they earn, most entrepreneurs won't save such amount. Naturally, I'm not a saver because money in the bank doesn't make anyone richer. While everyone needs some amount to be kept in case of an emergency, saving money for retirement or old age doesn't seem to make a lot of sense to me. As an entrepreneur, the very best thing that you can do with your money is to reinvest it into your own business. If your business seems to have grown so much that you don't need additional investment, then think about other industries you're passionate about. Unlike most people, however, I will advise you not to invest in the world's biggest companies and I'll tell you why. You see, Apple is big and Facebook is very big, but their growth can never be as fast as that of a young company. Here is my argument. Amazon and Apple were both trillion dollar companies as of 2020. Let's say you invested $10,000 into Apple when it became $2 trillion. You'll need Apple to become $4 trillion to double your investment. That's possible, right? Yes, but how easy? That's another question. Because big companies are often faced with millions of challenges and because nothing grows forever, a young company can be a better way to grow your wealth. Think about a company worth $1 million. How hard is it for such a company to be worth $5 million? A lot easier than turning $1 trillion to $2 trillion, right? But honestly, I'm not sure I know what I'm saying here, so don't follow my advice if it doesn't make sense to you. Here are some things I've shared with you so far. As an entrepreneur, I'm always afraid of getting addicted to anything which doesn't give me money or make my life better. So, I'm afraid of social media. Because I want to invest my brain in creating solutions, I really don't have any space to complain about the bad economy. Because I don't think saving money ever makes anyone rich, I invest my money instead of saving. And I don't necessarily think of the biggest companies when I want to invest. I invest in my own business and my next move may be in small businesses that seem promising. I hope this video helps someone. My name is Steve Courage. I'm a Nigerian entrepreneur based in Lagos. If you wish to know more about me, see my ugly face or consume videos I specifically make for Africans, check the description box and join my new channel where I show my face and teach Africans how to build successful businesses. I love you.